Hey guys, I am back with another video and in this video we are going to go back to our collection view in .NET MAUI. So we are building these collection view related stuff. We already have these two things here, how to change the default selection color in collection views in .NET MAUI and how to handle multiple selection. Right, so we already have videos for this. I am going to drop the link of those two videos in the description box. You can check those out. And this time we are going to see how can we implement infinite scrolling we call it endless scrolling infinite scrolling so this is basically when we have some items in the collection view and we start scrolling and when we are about to reach the end it will simply load up the next set of data that is this infinite scrolling so we'll keep on scrolling and it will keep on adding the data to this collection view this is what we are going to implement in this video okay so i have this solution ready i have created this mavi collection view dot infinite scrolling project okay this is this dotnet 9 application this is going to be applied to all the versions of dotnet mavi so inside this what i have done i have simply installed two packages one is community toolkit dot mvvm we are going to use mvvm in this and then I'm going to, I have added this bogus, which is equivalent of faker JS in this dot and Maui world. So this is simply to generate some random data. All right. Then I have this models, this employee model here. I have simply created a model with these three properties, ID name and some team. We have this predefined teams here, development, designing, testing, client implementation, sales team. And I have this static method. I'm going to use this method to generate data in real world. You will have some API layer which will send the data to you. So here I have simply using this faker which comes from that bogus nugget package we have added. So here we have this rules for name and team. So name will be some random name and team. It will be random from these things. Okay. We are not concerned about ID here. So we are okay without it. Then I'm simply generating the employees data using this faker.generate and then simply returning it. All right. After that, I have this view model, data view model. Here, I have this observable collection where I'm having this list of employees. And then I have this method, public using task get employees. I have added this manual delay here, task.delay. So it will simply mimic some API call. You will get data from API call and you are going to have that some delay here. So I have added this delay. Then simply employees from API. I'm getting this from this get data method, which I just showed you, which actually generated this bogus data. All right. Then I'm simply looping through this and adding the data to this observable collection. All right. And for the initial set, I'm simply getting calling this method in this constructor also for the initial set of data. And after that, we are going to call it once we reach to the end of our collection view. All right. Then I have registered these things, data view model and main page in our Maui program.cs. After that, in this main page.xaml.cs, I have simply injected this data view model and I set the binding context with this binding context to this view model. Then back to main page.xaml, I removed all the boilerplate, the which comes default. I have added this collection view here okay this simple grid padding 15 this is different then we have this collection view where we are setting item source to the employees okay binding which we got from our data view model this employees observable collection and then i have simply added this data template with this border here i have this first name and this simple arrow button we could say and then simply team this is what i have done so far the output I already showed you. This is the output. We have this set of data, this initial 20 items, this name and this team. All right. Now we'll implement when we are about to reach the end, it should fetch the next set of data. All right. So for this collection view gives us a couple of properties, events, methods. So here we have these remaining items threshold remaining items threshold reached remaining item threshold reached command remaining item threshold reached command parameter okay so here if you are using 
नॉर्मल कोड भी है एंड यू कैन यूज दिस इवेंट द सेकेंड वन रिमेनिंग आइटम थ्रेश होल्ड रीच तो द रिमेनिंग आइटम थ्रेश होल्ड इट विल बी देयर इट टेल्स वेन शुड इट रिक्वेस्ट फॉर द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ डेटा दैट मीन्स इफ आई सेट इट फाइव एंड वी हैव द पेज साइज एम्प्लॉयज इफ यू चेक वी हैव दिस ट्वेंटी वट इट विल डू वी आर सेंग रिमेनिंग आइटम थ्रेश होल्ड फाइव दैट मीन्स वेन इट रीच इज एट अ पॉइंट वेयर फाइव आइटम्स रिमेनिंग आउटसाइड ऑफ द स्क्रॉल दैट मीन्स इफ आई एम स्क्रॉलिंग इन हेयर एंड इट रीच टिल द फिफ्टींथ आइटम ओके बिकॉज हेयर वी आर सेंग आइटम थ्रेश होल्ड इज फाइव इफ आई मेक इट लेट से टेन देन इट विल सिंपली बी टेन आइटम्स इफ आई से लेट से थ्री then it will be after 17 items it will reach so here it is up to you how many items you want in the list before you are requesting the next set of data so remaining item threshold 5 we are going to use 5 then what should happen when there are five items left in that collection outside of the current scroll we outside of the current window so then we have this remaining item threshold reached event if we are using code behind but here i am using mvvm so i am going to use this remaining item threshold reached command we can use command parameter as well if we want to if we have but we don't have it we don't need anything here we just need direct command okay so here we can simply say binding and then we can say what command we can use right now there is no command because we have not created any command if we go to our view model here we have this get employees method let's change it to command okay so because i am using community toolkit .mvvm so it's easy to create it we can simply make this class as partial and then we can inherit this from observable object and then we can simply say private and then simply add relay command attribute and let's add the async suffix as well so from here i'm directly calling this method which is fine and then what community toolkit should have created us it should have created as a command which will be get employees command see this thing we can use this command there so this is a sync relay command and all this this is source generated from community toolkit .mvvm we can now directly use this get employee command let's go to our main page .xaml here we have reached in binding now we can see get employees edit save it okay let's quickly try it out okay let's run it now what would happen we will have initial 20 items then when we'll start scrolling when we reaches the 15th item five items remaining then it is simply going to call this command this is get employees command if we go to this command here what we are doing we'll have this one second delay you can have a uh, activity indicator loader as well if you want to for the sake of simplicity i'm not having that here so after this thing it will simply get data from the employee model ideally you will get it from the api here we are going to again generate this fake data for 20 items here and then we'll simply add those data to this employees observable collection then on the screen now we will have 40 items and now if we again keep going scrolling then when it will reach the 35th item then it will again going to get the data from it. so we will have that endless scrolling kind of thing right out we have this data let's quickly start scrolling now you see it will keep on going so this is infinite scrolling it is actually keep on fetching the data from here we will never get to the end we are here sometimes if we uh, do this very fast then it will simply stuck here and then it will simply because it is getting the data ready if you do this now it is at the end but 
it might have loaded the data and we'll start scrolling again right so this is how we can implement endless or infinite scrolling in collection view in dotnet maui now you might see that we say this infinite scrolling but we have finite set of data we don't have infinite set of data, right for that what we can do because we know when we are fetching the 20 items let's say in this particular case if uh, from our api we reached at the end of the data so you can have your condition somewhere here only maybe you can directly return from here in that case maybe you will have some uh, private pool something like this uh, let's say data reached or data completed it's up to you how you are handling it and here when you are getting the data here you can simply check if employees from api dot length is less than the whatever the max count you have or whatever it is private int let's say page size if you are having this something like this let's have is 20 okay so if it is less than page size then in this case you will get this page size data if this is less than page size then we know that data completed is true we don't have any further data in that case whenever we'll come to this thing we'll simply check if data is com already completed we'll simply return page no more data in the api no more data in something like this okay and if you have some filter or something like that you can simply reset it in those cases so this is how we will do it but for this particular case we know we are not going to uh, finish this but still if you want to do this maybe for the sake of uh, this testing only we can simply say private static int let's say max data equals <coughs> we can maybe have let's say 100 okay then here private static int let's maybe make is private const int max data it will be 100 and here we can say data sent something like this it will be zero for now and here we'll say underscore data sent equals this count this is what we have sent okay and then we'll simply check here if underscore data sent is greater than or equals max data then we'll simply return from it. we will not simply return blank from it the empty array here we'll say data sent plus equals count i know this is maybe getting complicated but this is to simply mimicking the api kind of thing i'm not going to have any api inside this that's why i'm doing all this so now we have some direct paging and here we'll say after 100 records we are not going to get any other record okay so now if i restart this now we'll see it will keep on fetching the data until we reach the 100 items after that it will not do anything Okay, let's go see. Okay, so we have it here. Let's start scrolling. Start scrolling. We have this data. We have this data. Keep going. Keep going. And now we are at the end. Now it will not try to fetch other set of data we don't have any other data so now we will not get passed through okay now you can modify this set of thing to cater your need but this is how we can implement infinite scrolling in collection view all right so i think that's all for this video please like this video share this video subscribe my channel i'll be back soon with some other cool video and the source code link is going to be in the description so you can get this complete source code with all these collection view related stuff i'm going to add other stuff as well related to collection view or maybe do let me in the comment what other things you want to see in the collection view series